Boeing, South Carolina is still union free this morning. More than 2,800 of the 3,000 Boeing, South Carolina teammates eligible to vote did so on Wednesday. Nearly 2,100, which is about 74%, voted against union representation, so a landslide to say the least. The International Association of Machinists is the same union that represents workers at Boeing in Seattle. And they say that workers there have higher wages. However, Boeing says any discrepancy in wages between the two places reflect the standard of living. We spoke to the lead IAM organizer, Mike Evans, after the vote. He says they're going to continue pushing forward. The people I met understand the value of a union contract and the labor movement and what it does for working families. Uh, so, in a sense, it's, it's disappointing the outcome tonight, but I think the kind of people that understand the value of having a union contract, uh, that doesn't fade away. If the union decides to hold another vote, they're going to have to wait a year due to voting rules. Well, Boeing South Carolina's Vice President and General Manager Joan Robinson Berry released a statement after learning the results of the vote last night. She said, in part, we will continue to move forward as one team. We have a bright future ahead of us and are eager to focus on the accomplishments of this great team and developing new opportunities. South Carolina Chamber of Commerce CEO Ted Pitts also responded, saying, South Carolina jobs were the real winner today in North Charleston. We know South Carolina workers are second to none. That is why great companies like Boeing call the Palmetto State home.